I don't need to quick attack, just in case he doesn't mock. And arguably, big pecs? <laughs> I'm literally nutty! I'm in another dimension when it comes to Pokemon, bro. I don't even play this game! What is going on, YouTube? Kizzy here. I'm super excited to announce another new series I'm bringing to the channel, where, as the title says, I battle the Radical Red Elite 4 with a completely randomized team. Now, I like to consider myself a pretty trustworthy person, but if I just randomize on my own off screen, there's always gonna be that thought of, hmm, did Chizzy really use the first team he generated? So to prevent any kind of cheating, I decided to do this series live on Twitch, which honestly is something I've been meaning to do anyways, because a lot of people want me to post Twitch content here, even if it's a bit incoherent with me talking to chat and answering alerts. Anyways, so Chizzy, how is this gonna go? Well first, I'll be using an online random Pokemon generator to grab a team of six. Couple rules though, I'm not allowed to select the Ubers option, but I can evolve any not fully evolved Pokemon that show up. Cause we gotta be realistic here, Radical Red is insanely hard and you're not gonna beat Primal, Dialga, or Groudon with a Squirtle. However, let's say I get Porygon or something, I will have the choice of using Defensive Porygon 2 or Offensive Porygon Z and that's just gonna depend on team structure more than anything. One final rule to mix things up and make it a little more fun. After generating the team of six, I'm allowing myself the option of generating a seventh Pokemon. But if I do decide to get a seventh Mon, I have to use it. So think of it like a chance card. If my team of six seems mediocre, it might be worth picking that seventh Mon. But if the seventh Mon is even more trash, too bad, I'm stuck with it. So those should be the only rules. Trust me, this first episode you really want to stay for because there were some just epic battles. If you aren't following me on Twitch, shitsy 2 k make sure to do so. I promise with this series, I'm going to be streaming a lot more. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content. And let's hop straight into the live stream and find out what my first random team will be. Let's go ahead and generate. Here we go, guys, without further ado. Um, no Ubers. Again, NFEs can be evolved, and if I don't like this, if I don't like one of the mons, I can get a new one, but then I can't revert back. I have to use that new mon. Done. Those are the rules. Generate. Go. Ah. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of this is kind of weird. So Snom obviously can become a Frost mod, so obviously that's not the end of the world. Although, oh, heavy duty boots might be a thing. Heavy booty boots. You guys already know. Barrascuta is kind of nice, um, doesn't really need rain to be effective. It's got ex extremely high speed and attack. Whiskash, we've seen it do work. Y'all remember, I put it in my Hoenn video because it has water bubble with liquidation and dragon dance. And it's actually really good. Magnet Zone is a good mon always. p -Dove becomes... On Pheasant, which I think got a little boost. I might have to check on that later. Evire is nice, but it's not that... I, like, it gets Plasma Fist and whatnot, and Mach Punch. It's part fighting. But I definitely want to keep that. So do we want to re-roll? That's the question. I feel like I could re-roll because I have two Electrics, two Waters. So let's just go for it. Let's do a quick re-roll and generate. Oh! No! <laughs> Damn it. That's why I don't want to do it. Okay, so we got Swalot, pretty much. Uh, we're not going to use Gulpin, obviously. No! Okay, so, I mean, that means we have to use Swalot now. Was that worth it? Probably not. But you know what? I don't... I feel like Swalot could be a thing for Bruno. It's not bad. It's ma it is Magic Guard, although I don't think it's too... Cra I mean, it doesn't take the hail damage. Yeah, It's not too bad. I. But what to replace? I'm going to have to go with Zone. It's gonna sound crazy. Like the viewers are gonna think I'm crazy on YouTube. Yeah, I think Zone's gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that happen. So it's gonna be Frostmoth, Beeruta, Whiskash, Swalot, because that is our sub Pokemon, our replacement that I have no choice but I have to use. Uh, this also, I also feel like if I put Swalot over something else, I'll have three months weak to ground, and I just don't like that because Unpheasant isn't. Like, you can't just say, okay, Unpheasant can switch in on Earthquake. It's okay. Because, yeah, chances are they're going to have, like, Stone Edge or something too, right? So, I like the, the Magnezone change. I'm going to stick with that. I'm sticking to my guns. I think that's the right play. Uh, Unpheasant and then Evire. That's the team. So, let's get rid of Zone. 
and let's hop in game. Anyways, taking a look at the team. So we have Frostmoth with heavy duty boots, which guys, please remind me to change that for the last battle because Lance does not have stealth rocks. No, not Lance, Gary, but everyone else does. Actually, I don't need this heavy duty boots for the first battle either. So we might work with something there. Um, but uh, it is ice scales, obviously. That's going to help. I, it, I mean, it's got really good spit out, this thing. So it can set up all day. And it's going to be a quiver dance set with ice beam, bug buzz, and a filler move. I have giga drain for now. I don't think I need to change that, honestly. Because ice beam and bug buzz hits pretty much everything. Giga drain is here for some of Lorelai's Pokemon. Barris Skuda is going to be a choice banded set. I don't think I'm ever going to change that. It's just here to... It doesn't hit that hard, but it hits hard enough. It's, it's going to be here as a revenge killer that has high speed. You can check a lot of mons just based on its speed and outspeed and kill them. Uh, Swift Swim is the only thing I could run. And then Liquidation Close Combat. Psychic Fangs actually might be good because uh, it hits stuff like Eternatus since Liquidation and Close Combat can't. And then also it uh, removes screens, which Alolan Ninetales might have. And then Aqua Jet is obvious priority. Next we have Whiskash, which I've already used in a video before. It's really good in Radical Red because it got a new ability, Water Bubble, which makes water attacks much stronger. But yeah, Water Bubble is nice because it also prevents burn, so you can't get Scald burned. Um, but yeah, we're running DD, Liquidation, Earthquake, Stone Edge, very typical set. And then Swalots, um, just trying to go as bulky as possible to relax nature, Black Sludge. It does have Magic Guard, which is really cool, which will help against stuff like Hail. Um, but this thing's more just of a bulky mon. It's here. I think Encore is going to be the key move. It's it, Being able to Encore setup sweepers will save us a lot. Um, I don't think I'll ever use the other moves, like much. Like Sludge Bomb, obviously, but not Pain Split and Explosion. Maybe Explosion can get us a free switch in or two. Um, it was mentioned that this thing got higher special attack now. So considerably, I could put Ice Beam or something later over Pain Split, maybe, against Lance. That's the only thing I'm thinking in terms of switches. But we'll worry about that later. Unpheasant is just here as, you know, a ground switching. Honestly, uh, Scope Lens Super Luck is definitely a decent hard hitter, especially if there's any plus defense mons. I don't think there is. They don't have Zamazenta in this, right? No. Uh, drill Peck, Drill Run, Night Slash, Quick Attack. This is iffy. I kind of want to put U-Turn somewhere, but I don't know what to delete because Night Slash is really good for Agatha, and I can't get Night Slash back if I delete it. And then Drill Run, I feel like, hits Steel types that will be switching in on this. Quick Attack is necessary for priority. And last Pokemon is Electivire that I'm using as a Scarfer, but I still have Mach Punch on it because just in case priority is always better. Um, Plasma Fist is boosted by Iron Fist, I think, as well as, I mean, it has Fist in it, literally. And then Close Combat is not, but it's very strong, and Ice Punch is for perfect coverage, basically. Alright, here we go. Lorelai, what you got? I'm so scared. I hope you guys realize how scared I am for this lead four. I looked at the champion team, and I, I, I don't know what to do, but we'll worry about that later. Okay, so my idea, again, is to close combat Glaceon, which should just knock it out, with Scarfed Evire, and set up a Quiver Dance while I can. See how that goes. And we do go first. Yeah, I mean, Scarf, base 95 versus what? What's Glaceon? Like, base 65? And I think it's Modest, I believe. So, we got that right, at least. Now, Ninetales could arguably just attack, and it could wreck Electivire. And it doesn't. It goes for Aurora Veil. Which, I can get rid of with Psychic Fangs later. But for now, I need to get up my Quiver Dances with Frostmoth. I think this is the best time to do it. Let's see what Lorelai brings in here. I'm gonna skip this a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. It goes for, oh, okay. It goes into Calyrex, which... Hmm. Alright. I need to attack that ASAP. So I'm gonna go for Bug Buzz. I don't know why they went to Calyrex right off the top like that. Because I'm gonna get off a ton of damage. And then... I'm not staying in with Evire. I need that thing. I might, I, I think I already lose something, so I might go into Unpheasant. Because Unpheasant 
doesn't do anything. I need a sack. I'm sacking on Pheasant because uh, I think Calyrex, even though I do have an Ice-type on the left, will still go for that Glacial Lance move. And then Ninetales will go for Blizzard. So, yeah. I, I had to get rid of something, and Unpheasant definitely does nothing for me. That did zero to Frostmoth, literally zero. I lived that with, wow, with Unpheasant. I could not have expected that. So Bug Buzz is going to give me a special attack raise, which is dope. That did over half to Calyrex through the Veil. That's pretty good. And we get our little special attack raise. I was thinking it wouldn't do half, but it would do around half to where the special attack rays will help me kill it the next turn. Glacial Lance hits both. Oh, that's a crit, isn't it? That's not a crit! What? On Frostmoth? Are you kidding? I literally resist that. I understand that I have low defense. That is way too strong. I also understand that this thing destroys Bandit with insane attack, but dang, that sucks. I, I think I'm going to go Barrascuta and hope that... Ninetales won't go for Blizzard because I did that? That's like my the only thing I can think of. So maybe it'll just go for Moon... I, it doesn't have Moonblast? It doesn't even have Moonblast? It has Freeze Dry. Maybe it'll go for Freeze Dry on Barrascuta. Okay. Let's do that. So I'm gonna... Mm, does Drain kill... No, it doesn't. Let's go for Bug Buzz. Yeah. I'm gonna have to Psychic Fangs Ninetales here. So that gets rid of the screen, which is cool. And then Frost... That did a lot. Frost math... Frost math. Gosh, man, I can't speak right now. No, they went for Blizzard. Can we live, though? I feel like Frost math lives this. <gasps> that did literally negative five. Nice. Okay, so we kill... No, why? Why did I get frozen? Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we killed... <laughs> I don't think I really needed this one. That kind of sucks that I needed the damage. It's fine. We'll take care of Calyrex here. And Frostmoth is still alive. It's just, do they have... They have Akajet as Umeril. Dang it. Yeah. Ah, oh, that sucks. The freeze sucks. There, and they go right into it. Yeah, they're gonna go for Aquajet. I'm just gonna try to Giga Drain. I don't think I need to... I can switch out at this point anyways. And maybe I can unfreeze. Or thaw, rather. And, um... Go for liquidation on nine tails. I got. Oh wait, I'm locked in. I'm banded. Well, hopefully we just do a KO. Man, that freeze sucks. I would have killed nine tails there. Wait. Okay, so they didn't aqua jet. I don't know why, but they got up another veil because of the dang freeze. So that freeze actually mattered. So now Giga Drain is not going to do crap. Yeah, and Frostmoth's going to go down. That freeze mattered so much, so much. Oh, they went for play rough on dirt. Okay, why are you letting me live with Frostmoth? I mean, it sucks that the... So, again, the Veil would not have been up here. And I think I would have swept right there and then with Frostmoth. But, again, I got unlucky as always. They misplayed the crap out of that. They could have Aqua Jetted me. Road and Wash, Obama Snow are left. I could use another Quiver Dance. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go into Evire. Evire should knock out a zoom roll through the reflect, right? Okay, let's do that. By the way, I see you guys in the chat saying the just win. Okay. We we get the joke. I think I'm gonna quiver again. I'm gonna quiver again. I'm gonna pl 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 I cannot speak. Plasma fist a zoom roll, which should knock it out. And then what is a nine tails gonna do, right? Like Blizzard's not gonna do crap to Frost Moth. I'm banking on this. They switched. Okay, that's interesting. There's no Rotom. They didn't Aqua Jet. Again, I uh, I feel like Aqua Jet would have just knocked out Frostmoth even now. Or am I overestimating the Zoom Roll? Maybe a little bit. Plasma Fist will kill it. And I got another free Quiver. And I can Plasma Fist and Giga Drain. I win. I think I win here. Oh, the hail stopped. I don't think that matters. Oh, it does. Oh, well, no, because the bomb is just going to bring it right back. Dang it. Okay, whatever. I don't care for the hail anyways. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to Giga Drain. Oh, darn it. A bomb still has HP fire. So. <sighs> okay, so Rotom Watch has T-Wave. 
But is it worth just knocking out a Bomb of Snow? And then maybe Rotom won't even go for T-Wave on Frostmoth. I think it will, but who cares at that point? Plus, I'm at plus three speed. I might still outspeed it anyways after. So I think this is the better play, y'all. Go for it. Oh yeah, Plasma Fit. What? Wow, Scarfed Electivire outspeeds plus three. I'm at plus two. I'm not at plus three. I'm dumb. Okay, that makes more sense. I'm at plus two. Okay, so that does a decent amount. Buck Buzz will knock out Obama Snow through, I would think, through the Veil, I think. I hope. Guys, please, help. Okay, good. Because if you think about it, it's at plus three special attack. You kind of do just minus two, so it's plus one. Plus one should easily knock out, right? So just think about it that way. Uh, they do T-Wave, which I thought would happen, but I think I still outspeed Rotom. No, I don't. Probably not. But either way, I'm looking real good right now. We just... Yo, even with that freeze on Beerusuta, that allowed them to set up an extra Veil. We're still up 4-2. to two. So at this point, I mean, I just Giga Drain Rotom, and I Plasma Fist the heck out of Ninetales. Y'all, I hate to say it, but your boy's kind of nice at this game, bro. I... I barely... Okay. We still got it! This should kill. Yes! Oh my... And I think, do I still? No, I don't still outspeed. But guess what? Bolt Switch ain't going to be doing nothing to a plus two Spadef. Oh my. Yeah, I should have probably thought of that. The fact that Rotom cannot touch Frostmoth anyways. That's a sweep. Frostmoth never died. And it was my lead. I, I, yeah, I agree with that. Lorelai's biggest mistake was not killing Frostmoth when she had the chance. She could have easily Aqua Jetted me, but hey, you know what? You know what we say on the Chizzy channel? We take those. Woo! Okay, that's a, hey, that's a good start. I'm leading Beriscuta, because I feel like Beriscuta... I could have led with Unpheasant, too, now that I think about it. But I think Beriscuta has the good matchup against... I was going to say Infernape, but... Rashifu's fine, too. Oh, so this is the no Stealth Rock team. Okay, so we're not going to have Hazards on our side, which is nice. Am I about to get bopped with the CC? Yeah. No point in switching out, so we are just going to go right for the Psychic things. Which should, uh, knock this down to its sash. Or not. <laughs> that did zero. Beroskuda is so weak, bro. I hope you guys realize how weak this thing is. It just... Look how much... That's a non-stab U-turn. Like, what? That did almost as much as... Okay. I'm just not gonna question it. They go right into Scizor. Which, this one is an SD variant. Oh, no. Yeah, no. I kind of wish I had Fire Punch on Evire. Yo! Do I lose? Uh oh. Okay. I'm thinking Swallow and then just Encore. <laughs> I, okay, I didn't think this one through, bro. Let's just go Swallow. This is gonna be horrendous. Yawn on Swallow doesn't sound like a bad idea now that I think about it. Over Pain Split. I really don't see myself using Pain Split that much. Especially because of my HP being so high. Uh, yeah, so I, I got an Encore. That's that's what I came here for. Yes! Oh my god, what an idiot! So, half of this is gonna be me just relying on bad AI. Oh my goodness, thank god. Okay, the thing is, though, now what, right? Because I still probably lose something. Because I can't be setting up. <laughs> I can't be setting up while it's Encore. Uh, I believe Beriscuta probably is the right play, so it should be Beriscuta. What the fish doing? We're gonna go into Beriscuta real quick. That's just gonna keep swords down. No, okay, they actually know how to switch. That's good. Good for the AI. And they go right into the stupid... <sighs> you know what? If I can get Terrakion to go for Stone Edge at some point on one of these two... That's locked in. I can go Whiskash and set up. But right now it's going to go for CC. So I should go to a Swallot instead. What? Why are, why are you going for Stone Edge? When you could miss and I could just kill you with like Okay. I mean, I'll take it. That's fine. I'm just like, why? Like, what? The, 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 that's so stupid. What, like you thought I had... Like what, you thought I had a ghost or something? Why would the AI do that? Like, doesn't the AI always go for the most optimal play that's right in front of it? 
what if they had missed Stone Edge and I could just click liquidate? Oh my god. Okay, it doesn't matter because now I can go to Whiskash. So it, it's fine, but I just, I'm just curious as to why they did that. Oh, we can get some Stone Edge misses as well. And some crits. Nice, that did nothing. And Lefties is going to really help here, I think. Uh, let's start DDing. And they switch right away. <laughs> Into this? I just killed this. What are you going to do, Aqua Jet? I need plus two. Like, I need plus two to kill Zacian. I don't think plus one Earthquake kills Zacian. Do I dare go for DD here? Nah, Surging Strikes just does too much, y'all. Okay, let me chill. I'm going to just go for EQ here. I knew it! I should have DD'd. I felt like they were going to Aqua Jet. Okay, that's cool. That does nothing. We're just going to kill... Man, I really wanted to DD again. If I DD'd again... I think that was a wrap right there and then. But I couldn't make that risk because if they do Surging Strikes, I just lose. So that was the better play to EQ there. I felt like they were going to Aqua Jet. I just felt it. This is where it's going to come out. Now, this thing cannot do much to me. So I don't know why they did this. I'm just going to Liquidation. I want a DD on this too. Like, why not? Right? Now, U-Turn could do a... a, a, a huge amount and put me in range of like a mock punch from Conk. That's why I'm a little scared. But I'm just gonna DD. Like, I don't know why. I think they're just gonna U-turn into... Maybe I should have just attacked Scizor, because Scizor is a big problem for my team. What? Why? That's not gonna put me in bullet punch range at all. That put me in bullet punch range, y'all. I think I need to just do what I my first like instinct is, which was to attack. I made a misplay by going for DD there. Also, I'm gonna like just not look at chat. Just don't look at chat. It's at minus one attack though. Maybe I can take one bullet punch. Maybe. Yeah, DD was not the play. Okay, so that was an L. I should have attacked. So now I basically lose because Whiskash was my win con. I lose now. I kind of want to just restart, but oh well. Uh, it's at minus one. I can't set up with Frostmoth, though. So my best option is just go Barrascuta. I thought it would U-turn as well. I just didn't see Superpower coming because either it U-turns... It's okay. Whatever. Either way, uh, let's go for... Yeah, just a Liquidation. And they're going to switch out. And Scizor has just now become the most annoying thing ever when I could have already put it down real low. But going into Zacian, I, I got some damage on this thing. I don't think I 2 a KO though. Oh, wow. Yo, I 2 a KO. The problem is though, um, I don't outspeed this. So... I mean, it's just going to CC here, but it can just kill Swallow up the next turn. So something does die here, and I don't know what I should sa I feel like I need Barrascuta for Aqua Jetting Terrakion, so I'm gonna... What do I sack, man? Does Frostmoth do anything for me? I would need to set up... I don't think Frostmoth does anything for me at all. Because Terrakion at... with a Scarf still outspeeds plus two Frostmoth. So I'm gonna let that go. Watch it, SD. Don't... Bro, if it does, that's just the dumbest play ever, and I stand by this play. Yeah, it just goes for Behemoth Bash? That's a Steel-type move. Maybe Barrascuta could have taken that. Interesting. Crossbot's gonna go down here. I think I, I take the L. Dang, this is gonna be a long stream. Uh... I mean, I don't know if Scarf... Man... I hope this kills. Let me do some math. Plasma Fist is base 100, but because I believe they boosted Iron Fist to 1.3, it becomes 130. So it does more than CC. I don't think this kills. I don't think this kills. I needed it to close combat. I thought it was going to CC so I could go directly into Evar. Man, I hope this kills, y'all. If it doesn't, it's a wrap. Bro! Oh my god. 
That's a plus one CC. I'm not. I'm not taking that. No, I'm not taking that. Electivire has like 67 defense. I'm not taking that. No. Ah, that's a wrap. Dang it. Okay, so I don't know if I could get through Bruno, y'all. <laughs> to be honest. Dang, my 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 Pokemon are just so much worse. That's the problem. They're so much worse. I do have Aqua Chat as well as Quick Attack. I think I'm gonna Quick Attack here. But that just invites in Terrakion, which just clicks Stone Edge and wins. They can miss. They can miss Stone Edge. Let's go in Pheasant. Yeah, I think we did everything right outside of the DD on Scizor, which I still stand by that play. I don't think that was a bad play, but just not really knowing the calc on Superpower, I felt like Superpower would do uh, less damage. Whiskash is semi bulky. It's not like you know. But uh, we, we'll take the L on that. Quick attack. Imagine if that did literally 1 or something on Zacian and that crit mattered. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, it was at minus 1. That should have killed. Um, on Pheasant, actually, it's based on 115... Um, what's it called? Attack, so don't sleep. Uh, we're going to hope for a Stone Edge miss, because that's all I can do. Like, literally, that's all I can do. Yo! And I got a crit drill run here, right? And that's not even going to kill, but it's a 2 a KO, so we can get another miss. We get another miss. And I deserve that. Come on. I deserve that. Okay, 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 okay. We're going to Drill Pack here. Or a whole... Okay, what do they have left? They have Mega Lucario, Scizor, and Conk, and Tarak. That's a lot of Mons. I need this thing for Conkledur, man. And for Lucar, I need, I literally need on Pheasant. But we gotta pray for the miss, I think, because everything else just gets wrecked. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta dodge. <laughs> I called it. If you call it, it's not hacks. Okay. Now you speak in my language. Let's go. We got three more wands, though. <laughs> so. Ugh. Actually, I could ar arguably get off a lot of damage on this thing, because it might it might just, like, SD on me or something. Oh my goodness. Man, like, I gotta play this right. So, Swalot beats Conkleder. 1v1, I would think. Barrascuta doesn't do much, but it, it does resist Bullet Punch. I'm going to stay in. I think I can stay in once. I'm going to go for a drill pack. I'm going to stay in once. I don't know if that's the right play at this point. I really don't. But there's not much else, else I can do. Uh, it's not going to kill Scizor, but obviously we get the crit. And Superpower should knock me out, I think. Big pecs? Big pecs? Big pecs, please. Big pecs! I'm, just, I'm built different. Okay, so now Bullet Punch is coming my way. And guess what? You go into this... And now we're talking. What? Why? Why? What are you doing? Bruno's so garbage at the game. What? What do I do against this when they're so bad, bro? What? Why? What? Okay. I. I okay. This is literally me when I play any other game. When the opponent makes such bad plays that it actually helps them. Oh. Okay. Well, at least now we can knock... Why? Why? I... Literally, what are you doing? None of these plays make sense. Now Mach Punch knocks me out. Bro, it, the, the bad plays help them so much. Oh my god. Dude, I literally could not... I don't think I could have played this better. I have such a worse team, and I still could have won, even with that DD thing that happened on uh, Scizor. Do I paint split first on knockoff? Yeah. Am I slower? I I'm not. I'm not, right? What's Swallow's base speed? Honk, Adamant. 126. So I'm still faster. Okay. Good to know. Man. I didn't think I'd have to use my brain today, if I'm being honest. Okay. So I'm still outsped. No, sorry. I still outspeed. So my play is to Encore here. 
But then that will force a switch into- But Mega Lucario just comes in free on Swalot and wins. But I could encore that again, maybe, if they go for... Nasty Plot. Okay, so my play is to encore... First. They're locked into Mach Punch. Do I Sludge or do I Pain Split for- I, I, I think... I don't really know, like, the... Whether to Pain Split or not stuff. I'm thinking Pain Split just because I think Mega Lucario is coming in. Mm hmm. I almost want to go into. Like, I can't do anything with Barrascuta. Or, I mean, sorry, Unpheasant. Because Drill Run doesn't kill Lucario anyway, so I wasn't going to double there. I have to Encore again. And hope for a choke with Nasty Plot. And then go into my bird. Bro, I don't, I don't think I can do much else. Like, there's really, like, I'm trying my best here. Yeah, so we pray for the Nasty Plot. He does go for it. We go for Encore. Lock it in. Is it going to switch, though? But either way, it doesn't matter, because Unpheasant forces him to mock Punch with Conk. Perfect. There we go. I think I did this right. That actually kills. That's great. Again, if you're wondering why I'm getting so many crits, Scope Lens and Super Luck makes it 100%, I believe. So, Scizor, what the heck are you doing? I just won. I mean, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Who better? Who better? Oh my god. Like, dude. Get, get out of my face, bro. It's a wrap. So he has to mock. I can Encore, Spam Sludge Bomb. I win the game. I don't need to Quick Attack, just in case he doesn't mock. And arguably, Big Pecs? Yo! <laughs> I'm literally nutty! I'm in another dimension when it comes to Pokemon, bro. I don't even play this game! Oh my god, dude. Bro. Oh my lordy. Oh my lordy. It's just too easy. And now that I think about it, I feel like Frostmoth is good as well. I just need a lot of boosts, which I don't know how I'm going to get. But Frostmoth just eats from Mega Gengar because of Ice Scales. And darn it, we got the Zoroark team. Okay, that's not really what I wanted, but it is going to taunt here so I can break its Sash. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do to take advantage. Not really. I mean, Frostmoth is kind of nice, but it has Flamethrower. Let's go for Sledge Bomb on the taunt. And again, this is Zoroark. I don't know if this gets 2 hit KO'd. I don't think it does. Zoroark is weak defensively, but I don't think it's going to be a 2 hit KO. But getting damage? Yo? Bro, what? That is some damage. So Swalot getting that little extra plus 20 special attack boost or whatever it was is actually really making a difference here. Um, It clicks Dark Pulse, but I don't think I really need damage on anything else, so let's just go for another Sludge Bomb. It might switch into Aegislash. Darn it, I was, I, I was in mid-thought. Oh no, it went- what? Why? I mean, yeah, you resist Sludge Bomb, but this doesn't do much to me. If anything, it locks itself into Shadow Ball. Honestly, I know this is a risky as heck play, but I think on Pheasant, just getting a free switch in and just going for Drill Run on Aegislash is like just so good. That would be such a good start for me. I think it's worth it. Bing bong. Let's go. I'm going for Drill Run. I hope you guys realize this. Come in Aegislash. Why? What? Come on. Like what? Why does the AI make such bad plays and it's, uh, it doesn't help me? Oh my God, that's so annoying. Why? That's so irritating. I don't understand that. Like, I really don't. Like, yeah, honestly, if this was a comp battle, Sting in might- it's still a bad play, but like, it might not- <laughs> it was still the bad play regardless. Uh, they go back into Zoroark, which I outspeed, don't I? 105 versus 108, I think? Okay, that's perfect, so I can just outspeed this. What are you doing? What a clown. I think she just gave up. She's just like, yo, on Pheasant, 
It's because of the female on Pheasant, bro. I'm telling you, the female underrated. It looks ugly as heck. I don't know why. The male has got all the, you know, extravagant... I don't know what those things are. But the female is the one that's here to do some, like, damage, you know? It's, like, here for... It's business time out here. Uh, so Valley, this is so Valley Dark with T-Wave. Uh, yeah, this is not ideal for me. I think... I think Evar is fine, but let me just kind of think this one through a little bit. Like, obviously... Yeah, yeah, Evar. It's gonna T-Wave either way, so... Now, here's the question. Do I spam CC when literally their entire team, the rest of their team is Ghost? I mean, how, how bad would going for Plasma Fist as a, as a mid-ground be? Right? Let me try that. And he did stay in, so maybe CCing would have been nice. But honestly, I feel like Plasma Fist... No, I don't think Plasma Fist 2 at KOs. That's tough. That's tough. And he does parting shot, so... I figured he would parting shot here, I just don't understand. But Silvalli's not a threat, so I'm glad I didn't CC, because in the end of the day, I can beat this thing. And then Aegislash comes in, which is fine. This one is not the... Which Aegislash is this? So uh, we're gonna go Swalot. What, what's its other moves? I guess Toxic King Shield. Thank you. This is why I always listen to Master of Shuppets. And uh, we're just gonna click Encore. I think it could King Shield, but it's fine. We have eight of these, so... It doesn't. It probably just goes for some kind of attack. Shadow Ball. Perfect. Okay. Shadow Ball and Flash Cannon. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Yo, but that did a lot. Wow. Okay. I don't mind being weakened. Um, I mean, Unpheasant is so obvious, but I have no reason not to go into it. Can we go into the Burb? And it is going to King Shield here, but does Drill Run, is it, does that count as Contact or whatever? It doesn't, right? Oh wait, they, they made King Shield not give you the Attack Fall anyways, I think, or something? And plus, I get, oh, I get a crit anyways, Chizzy, shut up. Oh, dang it, they switched. I should have Night Slashed. No, they go back into Soul Valley, which I think dies to Drill Run plus Drill Peck. Yeah, I could care less about any Attack Fall. Oh no, that didn't do anything. Nah, nah, let's switch. I don't- I'm not confident in a drill peck here. I can go right into Evire again. I think it's gonna T-Wave, but it's just gonna be rinse and repeat. And at this point, you're in range of Plasma Fist, so yeah, I'm- I'm golden. No pun intended, because Evire- well, Evire is just straight yellow. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyways, we're gonna click Plasma Fist, and this should knock out Soul Valley. No point in going for CC, locking myself in, and letting Marsh Shadow set up bulk up. Although again, Marsh Shadow, my plan is to just Encore that thing. I don't think Swalot being weakened matters too much, because it can still take Spectral Thief as of right now. Going to Aegislash. I'm starting to be iffy on taking more with Swalot. And I think they might just Shadow Ball here. I have six Mons alive, like why am I tripping? I think arguably Whiskash could also be a play here. Because Whiskash doesn't really do anything either way. Um, I cannot Dragon Dance. Because Marsh Shadow will eat that up. With its Focus Ash. I mean, I could, because I have, like, priority and stuff. But, I think Whiskash is fine. I don't think this play matters too much. I want it to go Swallowed again, but I don't want it weakened. So I think Whiskash is just safer. And then... I just click EQ. Because it breaks Marsh Shadow's Sash. It does super effective on Gengar. Oh, and Silvalli died, so I gotta I gotta make sure to click that. There we go. Yeah, Earthquake is just the play here. That's fine. I mean, yeah, I could have DD'd. Like, I don't know what. Like, the, the AI is just so crap at this point. I just don't really care. I'm just gonna spam this a little bit more. And they're gonna go for Shadow Ball here, which arguably could have gone into the bird. But it, I, again, I think this is totally fine. And it's a 2 KO through the shield, so it's perfect. On this play, though, I might make a little extra play. Because they're going to King Shield after this for sure. Shadow Ball should be an easy 2 KO on me. It is. Do I care? Like, do I care enough? 
to make any prediction here? Eh, why not? Screw it. Screw it. We know it's going to King Shield. But, see, that's the problem with how many bad plays they've made so far. Because with Bruno, he, he made so many bad plays that it makes me uncomfortable going for certain plays that I would otherwise think are 100%. But uh, we got a little boost there, which is perfect because now you're not going to King Shield twice because I would hate you forever game. So you're going to go for EQ and knock out Aegislash, and we're going to die to Toxic Damage. So that's a fair trade. I'm I'm totally fine with losing Whiskash uh, and trading out Aegislash, which is really annoying. So now all we have left is going to be Gengar and Mar Shadow. And do I actually live Toxic? No, I don't. Um, so we want to prevent Mar Shadow because Gengar is not a problem, which is crazy to hear, but it truly isn't. Uh, Beriscuta actually just kind of wins as well. Um, yeah. But I think Scarf Evire is fine too. Like, anything works. Literally anything works. I'm gonna go Scarf Evire. Why not? Doesn't matter at this point. It's a wrap, no matter what comes out. So we are three for three, y'all. I, I don't want to talk too early, but shoot. We might just sweep the league with a random team that is much worse than these teams. I'll tell you that much. Much worse. So Plasma Fist will two at KO Marsh Shadow. It's going to go for a close combat, um, which actually might, might Oko me because of how bad Evire's defense is. But I think I live with one. Yeah, we live with one. And a Shadow Sneak. Should I, get, should I do the 5 0? No. <laughs> I really shouldn't. I kind of want to. I want to go into this. <laughs> should I do it? Go for the 5 0? You won't. You won't. You won't. Chizzy, you won't. Go for the 5 0. Let's go. And I live close combat. Big pecs? Easy big pecs. I've been eating. This thing. It's gonna do less than to Evire, exactly. So that's yummy. Drill Peck takes out Marsh Shadow. And uh, we gotta save the 5 0, right? So we gotta go into. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't do, I shouldn't do that. Uh, I shouldn't sleep on this thing. Although, uh, no, I, I mean, I, I'm gonna go for the 5 0. Let's go for Awesome Moth. It, it, it doesn't matter, because no matter what, I win with Beriscuta and Evire. So let's go into Frost Moth. And I think Frost Moth beats Gengar 1 on 1 with Quiver Dance. Let's go! 5-0-ing Agatha on our first attempt with a random team! A completely random team. Nice. Yeah, see, I told you guys. Oh yeah, you can Nasty Plot all you want. It doesn't matter because with my Quiver Dance, now you're technically a plus one. So I don't think Sludge Wave kills me after... What item do I have? No, I have... Oh, I have a uh, Throat Spray, not Lefties. Oh, that's actually close. But either way, I get off some... No, it's still faster than me. It's still faster than me. But it, it doesn't... I'm just gonna click Ice Beam and get a freeze. Especially if you Nasty Plot again. Now I wish I Quiver Danced again. Why would you... Why would you plot? I'm gonna get a freeze either way. And uh, you could be at plus 18 bajillion, and I would still be fine. Let's get a freeze, though. Why not? Never lucky. Uh, <laughs> dang it, I can't do anything. I, I, it's gonna be a 4-0. That sucks. Oh, well. Oh, I could have gone to the bird. I thought they were going to sludge wave. Dang it. I could have gone to the bird. There was no reason. What? Yo? What? Why didn't they sludge wave? I'll take the 5-0. And I got a crit on the one that didn't matter. Wow. I got the 5-0 on Agatha, though. I don't, she's just throwing, though, to be fair. Let's hope for Garchomp. I, I do want the Garchomp theme, I think. How's it been going so far? Scrubadia, it has been content, to say the least. And we do get the Garchomp team. Okay. Alright, Chizzy, you gotta focus. So, we do outspeed Garchomp. I don't think I need Beerscuta for much. Um, it's nice that it outspeeds, like, you know, Ments and stuff like that, but... And it doesn't do anything to Dialga. Close combat on Primal Armor is gonna do nothing. So, I think this is fine to just click Liquidation and get a nice 2 KO with Choice Band on Garchomp. This is definitely a 2 KO. I can argue 60%. That looks like 60%. 55%, but we get a Defense Fall. So that's actually huge because it makes the roll just not happen. And he does go for Stealth Rocks, which sucks. But I do have Heavy Booty Dutes, I think. Did I change it? I did. 
But Unpheasant sucks for that a little bit. But we don't care about Unpheasant too much in this game. Although it's been really good so far. Um, do I click this again when they literally have like a thousand dragons? See, the thing that I don't like about all this is they could go into one of their sweepers right now. No way! Oh, I already lose. I just lose. No, they go to Draco. Okay, that is that is a sigh of relief because I was just thinking if I didn't think they would switch there. To be completely honest, I didn't think they would switch. That was shocking to me. I thought they would just sack Garchomp. But if they had gone to D Knight or Mence there, I break the multi scale of Knight, which is great. But they get up a free DD, and I, my team just loses. Although, no, Ice Punch would have beat Dragonite. I don't know. I, I think I was fine. Okay. So now, I mean... What else is the play, y'all? I think this is too early for Whiskash, though. Because I need plus two. They do go for Bolt Beak. That does not affect me. I feel like I shouldn't DD yet. They have Roar of Time Dialga. They just, I feel like they're going into Dialga. Lunatic, thanks for the 20 months, by the way. I see you. Man, should I just do an hour and ever type of thing? I feel like, I, obviously, I'm not going to sweep, but just getting off damage is still good, right? Let's just do it. I think they're going to go Dialga and just go for Roar of Time, and I'm just going to lose right there and then. What? What? I, I'm sure. I guess Chomp is fine. I think Chomp, um... Sacking... Ooh, wait, do I outspeed? Well, it doesn't matter, because I got I got up another... Hold the phone. I got up another DD. I mean, EQ is going to do a lot, though. I think... I mean, that does, like, what? Like, 75% probably. For the content. Oh, wow, that did much less... See, I thought Whiskash was bulky like that. I thought we were built like that. That's why when Whiskash took a lot earlier, like... I don't know. What if I can take something from, like, Dragonite or something... I'm gonna go for it. Master of Shepherds is always right. You know the rules. Yeah, okay. It surely kills. It's plus two stab. I mean, what? On in, on what planet does that not kill? So uh, we got up some better HP there, you know? And they do go to Dragonite, which was what I was thinking was gonna come next. Because the boy doesn't like bringing out Dialga. Have you guys noticed? In all my Radical Red videos, the dude does not bring out Dialga until way later. And also, getting up plus two is really... Or, uh, getting up more... Health is really nice for a Melmetal, because I don't think plus two Earthquake even kills Melmetal. But now I can definitely eat Earthquake from it for days. Um, I might liquidate into Stone Edge. That sounds crazy, but I don't think plus two Stone Edge kills Dragonite for, with multi-scale. And why would I risk a miss? Right? Man. But do I take dual Wing Beat from, at this range? No, it's gonna dual wing beat into extreme speed. I don't, I don't live that. Yeah, man, yeah, I just, I'm just gonna click Stone Edge and hope for grit through multi scale. That's my best. I totally forgot that. That's just gonna own me. He misplayed. What is he doing? Wait, no. Do I have speed? I do. I'm at plus two. Now Whiskash is only base sixty, but D Knight's only base eighty, and I am jolly, right? Him, Charlie. Oh, he went for E-Speed. Okay, I, I don't think that's the play. Plus one E-Speed should not kill me. No way. It'll bring me down to red, but... Not even red. No! No! Why? I think I just... I won the game there. Not won, but... It's just... That's just how it, the cookie crumbles, man. That's just... That's just so stupid, bro. Now it's at plus one, so I basically lose. Yeah, I can go Evire and go for Ice Punch. But now without Whiskash, like, what? I just feel like Melmetal literally just wins right now. Like, Close Combat doesn't do much to it. And Earthquake just Okos me back. Um, not only Melmetal, but just Dialga. I, yeah, that's just unfortunate. That's why, that's why I should have, I feel like I should have gone for liquidation first, 
because something about going for Stone Edge twice never sits well for me. If I had gone for Liquidation into Stone Edge, that would have hit. That would have hit. He makes a smart play, goes for E-Speed, which will still hurt a lot. I lock myself on the Ice Punch, which means he's more than likely going to bring out the, um... I don't even know what he has left. I've only killed Garchomp, right? Yeah, so I've knocked out Garchomp and Dragonite. He brings in Melmetal. Um, he's going for Earthquake, so actually just bringing in Unpheasant and clicking Drill Run is like, sure, kind of thing. But I, it's over, guys. I needed that Stone Edge hit. Although, I'm not going to lie, I want to run this back. I want to run it back and use and try the same exact thing again, but hit Stone Edge this time and use Liquidation first. Yeah, Drill Run wouldn't even do half, and either way he went for Double Iron Bash, so... That was the right play by him, and Big Pex is not going to save us this time, boys. This was a sack either way. I was hoping that could get up some Drill Run damage, but that's not even going to happen. And Close Combat is not going to kill, but I need Electivire, so I need to sack something else. Okay, so we'll go to Barrascuta and get off damage. With close combat. And then we'll die to most likely a Thunder Punch. This should do less than half. I think. Oh, I'm banded, so maybe we could argue half. Wow, okay, that was pleasantly surprising. But again, because this is banded, that just tells me right there and then that Alexavirus close combat would not have um, O code. So I think this was the better play. We get rid of Barrascuta. And then we have to go back into Electivire, lock ourselves into close combat, and let Salamence Dragon Dance for the win. Yep. That's exactly what's going to happen. Now, I, we just try to make them be stupid with that. That's the only way I can think, but I need to CC, because otherwise this thing just beats me either way. Yeah, Rock-type moves are just not accurate. They're just... They're just bad. And yeah, he does do what I thought he would do. And, I mean, we have to go Swalot and just hope that they get super greedy and, like, DD twice or something. It's just, it's a wrap, bro. And the thing is, if I if they do DD twice in some universe that they try to do that, which, again, I don't think is happening, um, I have to go into Frostmoth and I can't even set up. I have to go for Ice Beam because if the Encore ends in three turns... I can't, I can't quiver. So, yeah. They do de Why are you so greedy, Lance? You already got the Stone Edge miss, you complete jerk. Um, we'll go ahead and Encore him and so we still have a chance maybe, right? Um, we gotta go Frostmoth here. Actually, wait! If I can get Dialga versus Frostmoth, Frostmoth wins that 1v1 because it can't phase me out. Hold on. But it's too difficult with Drake results still alive. It's too difficult. Because this isn't going to knock it out. I almost wish I had EQ on that thing now. Okay, well, we have to Ice Beam here. There's no point in trying to quiver. Like, yeah, if I... Qu See, if I quivered... I would still get outsped by Drake Azul, and I still wouldn't do crap with Dialga. So we just have to Ice Beam here and knock out Ments. And let's just say the Encore did end, I would have been toast. So we have to Ice Beam and knock out Ments first. Okay, so now we actually have... So Melmetal is dead. Ments is dead. We have Dialga and Drake Azul versus three. We might not be... We might not have to sleep quite yet, y'all. Actually, no. Because Frostmoth will be the last... I got a plan. Wait. Guys, this is not over yet. That Stone Edge miss did not end our hopes. They were up timing here. Wait a second. Wait a second, all right? Back into Frostmoth is okay. It's okay. We're going to sack Swalot. And we got to hope for the choke. We got to hope for the choke that they won't go into Drake Result first on the Quiver. Watch this play. Watch this play. Wait for it. 
I'm like doing math in my head right now. I'm like, I got, it's like that one um, meme with like the equations all over the screen. That's me right now. Okay, just watch this, all right? Just watch and learn from the boy. See, see, you got off some damage. Why not, right? Just wait. Just wait. Let your boy do his thing. Let your boy do his thing. Because he's been doing his thing this entire stream so far. All right? So let's go ahead and die to Roar of Time. Okay, wait. Wait a second. What's going on? Wait, wait, wait. Didn't we want the 1v1 with Frostmoth being the last Mon? What just happened? What just happened? Wait a second. You're going for a minus one priority move with Roar of Time. I have Ice Scales with plus one Spadef. So, according to my calculations, this is going to do like 30%. And you're going to let me get up another Quiver Dance. That did less! That did less! I think Flamethrower does less than Roar of Time, by the way, chat. Ah, uh, maybe not. No. Isn't Roar of Time base 150? Or did they change it because it's a phasing move? I don't know. Because with Stab... Either way, they're going for Roar of Time. Let's just do one more. I'm just, I'm, I'm not trying to risk a crit. Please, man. I don't know, they changed some speed of one of them. But either way, we're gonna go for an Ice Beam here because it has a chance of freezing. I don't think I actually kill here, so they still have one more chance to win with a crit. I don't think this kills. It's close. It does, and we get the crit! That's what I'm talking about! We get the 1-0 over... Bro, I'm lit... I'm, I'm telling you guys... I'm from another planet. I am a Martian. We do not lose. We do not lose. Losing is not in my vocabulary. My goodness. <laughs> Bro. This has got to be the nuttiest video on my channel ever. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. The games that we pulled out the bag. Now, okay, the champion is a different story, okay? Because I, I looked at the team. The one-on-one -on -one matchups aren't looking too hot. So the champion might be an L, but for the, the Elite Four was fire. Let's go over the changes real quick. So Barrascuta stays the same. Uh, I'm more than likely going to lead off with it because I feel like this is one of the only things that will make for a most of close combat. Because close combat, I don't think, kills Whiskash. It kills Evire too, so I could go with Evire lead, but I feel like Barrascuta is fine. I'm going to be switching into Swalot with Rocky Helmet to break its Sash, which I don't think is that necessary, but just for the sake of the eventual Frostmoth sweep, I want Firmosa's Sash broken. Okay? So we're going to be doing that. Uh, this didn't change. This didn't change either. We're still doing Scarf with Mock Punch, which has been very interesting to say the least. Unpheasant, though, has gotten a new change. We're going to go dual Scarf, which I think is really important because Scope Lens is nice for those guaranteed crits, but we're not going to be outspeeding anything. We're just going to be dying to Darmanitan G. We're going to be dying to Eternatus. So, and I don't think I outspeed Metagross either, funnily enough. Yeah, I don't. So, I need to have a Scarf. And just getting off those extra hits is going to be vital. from We also put dual Wing Beat, although I changed my mind because apparently Feromosa just switches out on that. Uh, but we didn't need Night Slash at all. A drill run hits Metagross equally, if not harder. So that's nice. Um, and we... The Frost Moth. Now this is the biggest change. We put a Focus Sash on it, because apparently... We do a little exploit with Eternatus uh, spamming Meteor Beam with Protect. Which, I don't want to win that way. I really don't, but... Guys, I don't know about y'all. I want to be undefeated. I want to just grind through this. And I think Frostmoth is going to be the answer. Now we do... My game plan here is to sweep with Frostmoth by sending up with it on Eternatus. There's a ton of Mons that will bring Eternatus out, so I'm not worried about how to get Eternatus out and getting a free switch into that. What I do want, though, is at least one of Metagross or Eveltal gone. So that way, Bullet Punch plus Sucker Punch won't knock out Frostmoth. And I think I could do that pretty darn easily if I just need one. So we're going to lead Barrascuta, try to get the Rocky Helmet damage on Feromosa first. Without further ado... Let's go. I didn't save. <laughs> I need to win this. I didn't save. Here we go, guys. We're about to complete the greatest start of a series ever. Ever. Not only on my channel, but ever on planet Earth, YouTube, etc. Name any social media platform. Never seen a better start. Netflix. This beats Netflix. We're going to go to Barrascuta. Uh, it's either going to U-turn or close combat, right? I feel like. I could have led with anything, really. It's either way. We go into Swalot here. We're gonna break the Sash. Don't switch for no reason. Perfect. It does go for CC, which I actually thought. 
which is even more it's even better than u-turn arguably now metagross i think is just going to come directly out we're gonna get that rocky helmet damage on Feramosa, break the sash so we no longer have to worry about this when it comes to frost moth um let's go for so this one's gonna be a little sus because i feel like he either goes into metagross or Groudon. But I can't double because I feel like he's just going to U-turn. I'll just click Sludge Bomb. It's fine. Oh, he does CC. Wow. Oh, wow. So we just get rid of Feromosa right off the bat. That's pretty nice. We get up, we get rid of Feromosa completely. I don't understand that play at all. I, why? Why? What? Why would he not U-turn? That just makes no sense to me. So he does go into Mega Metagross. Now... Do I just sack Small Lot, honestly? Do I really need it? I don't think I need it anymore. It's so low... Let me think. I'm thinking way too hard. Let's just go for a uh, pain split here on the missed Zen headbutt to get off damage. <laughs> I don't think I need Fallout, y'all. It's just going to get wrecked by everything at this point. They don't miss Zen headbutt, but it's fine. It is fine because I have Whisk Cash in the back. And Rocky Helmet does a little something, right? Um, Got to be real, real careful now. We're going to go Whisk Cash. I don't think Dragon Dancing is even the play, because I need plus two in order to... Yeah, because Zen Headbutt, two it KOs me. So I need to just click Earthquake here. Could use a miss though, not gonna lie. Yeah, that is a two it KO. No flinch, thank you, we're gonna go for Earthquake. I think putting a Choice Band on Whiskash could have been a thing as well. Nah, it still wouldn't have killed. Okay, so now it's going to Zen Headbutt again. It could miss. I don't need to save Whiskash, so let's go for another Earthquake. It does not miss again, which is fine. My goal is to get rid of Metagross, then bring Eternatus in. I hope I'm playing this right. Was losing Swallow out of play? I don't know. Okay. Now. Does Drill Run kill without the crit? I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. Uh, Does Plasma Fist kill? I'm going to go Bear Scuda. I feel like stab plus ban liquidation should do it for us. And it just goes for bullet punch. Perfect. So Metagross is going to go down. Remember, we needed one of Metagross or Eveltal down. And I don't know why I'm tripping. Liquidation definitely kills. Bandit stab. Couple Chizzy, shut up, bro. Shut up. And he brings it out. And there it is, boys. That should be game. Um, I am locked in this. I'm locked in liquidation. It doesn't really matter, though. Uh, so what I'll do is... I'll just stay in. Uh, I'm just going to get wrecked by a Dynamax cannon. Or a Sludge Bomb? Why? Doesn't Dynamax... Isn't that base 100? Watch me live this. Damn. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not happening. Okay. So now we just win. And I didn't want to do it this way, guys. But you know what? Screw it. This video is going to be really long. And... I am okay with going undefeated on my first video of the series. So, uh, he's going to Meteor Beam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quip... Or, or sorry, I'm going to protect for... Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine if I threw... <laughs> I'm going to protect here uh, on the Power Herb Meteor Beam. Oh my goodness. Imagine if I threw... <laughs> that would be just the ultimate fail of all time. So he's going to get the special attack raise, and then he's going to go for power up. I'm going to protect myself from it, and now it's going to be a two, two turn move, and I can start quiver dancing apparently. No, I told you guys! What? He doesn't... What? I told y'all! No! He doesn't spam meteor... Oh my god. Okay, I guess they fixed it in the new patch. Oh no. Okay, well then I lose. So he doesn't spam meteor beam. Never listen to chat, Chizzy. Facts.
Darn. Yeah, it has flamethrower. So I think it spams Meteor Beam because of Volcarona. Uh, but because... Of, yeah, darn. That sucks. Yeah, it's not Volk. <laughs> Dang it! Okay, that just ruined all my plans, though. Like, literally all. Now I'm in trouble. Uh, it still outspeeds me here. It still outspeeds me. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> this is Galarian Volcarona. Yeah, that's an L. Okay, then never mind. I had a plan, and it... No. Just, just no. Uh, <laughs> guys? I mean... Yeah, I lose. Super Mega Crit is not gonna kill this thing. <laughs> Don't know if Unpheasant clutches this. <laughs> That's a plus one sludge bomb. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna take the L. And I have to lock myself into like freaking Ice Punch or something. Cause I can't. <laughs> like this kills, but now you have a Darmanitan Gallery. <laughs> oh no. Ah, man. We do not go undefeated. Ah, uh, I figured. I was like, they have Flamethrower. Why are they going to Meteor Beam? I said that to y'all. But I, you know, the AI has been so stupid that I figured that would have been a thing. So I don't see a world where I, li I win this then in that case. So for the YouTube video's sake, I'm going to go over the team real quick. So again, no changes this time to Beriscuta, as always. We definitely did a change for Evire. We put dual screens on this weak defensive Pokemon. But... We do have a plan, so give it a sec. All right, we're going to put Light Clay on it for eight turns of screens. Uh, Whiskash has no changes. Swalot, we're keeping that Rocky Helmet on it for now uh, for the Feromosa. Scarf on Unpheasant, although I think I just left Night Slash. It doesn't really matter. We're not going to use Night Slash or Dual Wing Beat either way, uh, since apparently Feromosa always switches out. And this is going to be different. So Frostmoth has lefties now. But because of the screens, we should be able to take Flame Door a little better, and I can start setting up Quivers, and as long as there's no qu crits, we can set up on that Eternatus still. So we're going to keep Protect for that Meteor Beam, but other than that, uh, Lefties is the play. I don't know why it's bringing Groudon out now when it used to bring out Yveltal. It just makes zero sense to me. Completely zero. As to why they changed those things. Very stream sniping. That's got to be what it is. What do I do? I'm like just done. Oh wait, I gotta... I gotta save state here. Hold on. No, okay, Eveltal comes out. We save stated, so you know what? Screw it. Keep- wait, what? What are you doing? I- huh? I could've dd I mean, I couldn't have DD'd because he would've sucker punched the next turn, but I don't even want this damage on Eveltal, frankly. Because now- see, that's problematic, because now he's gonna be playing weird with Evire. I don't understand. Hopefully they just Oblivion Wing. Okay, good. They, they won't because they got the health back. Okay, we're fine. The light screen here. Mock Punch, right? That's what we did. And then we went to Frost Moth. And let's try this again for the darn last time, man. We need plus four. And we need Dark Hole not to sleep. We need so many things. River Dance, that's one. Protects. They're Heat Waving this time. Over dance again. I don't care if the screens wear off, to be honest. Because by then, I'll have an... Ooh. Uh... How many turns? Oh, you can check, right? I have three light screen. Okay, I'm good. So I can protect. Oh, they went for Oblivion Wing. I could have actually Quiver Dance there. Darn it. What are you doing? You clown. Okay, now they're going for that. So, Sucker Punch wore off, but... Oh, let me get some health first. And then let me... Qu Maybe I should have quivered there, but... He's just going for Sucker Punch. Perfect. Now I'm at plus four. That should be game now, okay? That should be it. And actually, I can protect. Get a little bit more. And let's go for Ice Beam. You can Sucker Punch all you want. Honestly, I wanted to protect to make sure that was the last Sucker Punch. But that doesn't kill, and Ice Beam should. I mean, not should. It will kill a thousand of these. Not really. Involt's all so dang bulky, man. And this has to be it. 
I didn't. I'm not gonna go for six because I only need four, and if I go for six, I'm gonna get crit. So that would just be not fun for me. Um, I don't need to protect, but I feel like doing it just to piss. Why did he U-turn? Okay, whatever. I mean, it kills either way, so I get why he would do that. Let's go for a bug buzz. Let's knock out Darmanitan, and guys, I think this is it. Finally, Frostmoth has won us. The randomizer challenge that took way longer than it was supposed to, even though we did so good in the first four battles. Frostmoth was out here doing some frost math. I was out here calcin, bro. Okay. So now at plus four, Ice Beam easily kills Groudon. In some world, they gave Groudon sturdy. I don't know. <laughs> sturdy, desolate land. And that's gonna be game. This is content, y'all, but man, that's hard content. I'm scared for my future randomizers because this was a decent team. It wasn't it wasn't complete trash. So like, I'm gonna get worse teams in the future, and I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get past the champion, if I'm being completely honest. Screens Evire wins us the game. Screens Evire. Imagine an Electivire going for Reflect in real life, bro. I mean, it doesn't even exist in real life, but you guys get the point. I'm done, man. <laughs> Long stream. And now you guys know why I have to separate the, the battles from the actual setting up the team. My goodness. Wow. We did it. Hopefully next time we get some better mons. I feel like I could argue that we did get some decent ones. I think Alexavira was really good for us. Um, Swalot's Encore saved us a bunch, and Frostmoth was a very good sweeper. Again, I'm gonna say it, Magnezone wouldn't have done crap. Think about it, right? What would Magnezone have done against anybody? It just gets wrecked. Could argue it's a dragon resist. That's the only argument I have for it. I think Swalot's Encore was more important. Um, we were gonna delete Beriscuta, but Beriscuta, its speed came in handy. And then Unpheasant? frankly was like the the dark horse kind of thing like it, it really did its thing it was a ghost resist it was a ground resist what a run bro